Hey guys, it's Chris from Chris Productions bringing you guys a review on the Pirate Ship Ambush from Lord of the Rings. This set is awesome and it retails for $100 US, if I'm partially correct. And, um, that might be a really, it might be a 110, I don't know. And, um, I believe it's 140 Canadian, which is pretty nasty, because I'm from Canada. Make sure just to point that out. Anyways, this set is awesome and I actually probably don't give the set enough credit. Um, it's minifigures are incredible, and the set is pretty awesome too, and um, I always kind of forget about the minifigures when it comes to the set, because I'm like, oh, it's not much of a set, but the minifigures really do make up for it. So let me bring in the set. Now, this is a wicked pirate ship, and so I'm in San Francisco right now doing this review, so that's why there's not my normal setup, but it's a huge ship. I mean, the sails make it huge. The actual boat itself is pretty long, but it's not that kind of thickly condensed with bricks. So I'm going to start out with the minifigures and I'm not really getting, unfortunately I can't really give you guys too good of a look at them. They all, almost all of them have back printing which is incredible but I just got to get through this quick because my camera's going to die and I'm probably not going to be able to rebuild this set and do a full complete review after this. So these two arcs are exactly the same, one just has armor which I'm going to give to one of my armorless Yurikais. And um, if you watch my other review of the Yurikai army. I'm going to go over here to Gimli because he's awesome. We've seen him before. Legolas is the same one that we got in the Mines of Moria. Aragorn, which is the same one that we've got in a few sets now, I want to say. And um, we'll mainly help Steep. And here's the... Oh, no, what are they called? Pirate of... Oh, I knew this. I actually knew the name for some reason. Pirate, oh, Pirate of Umbar. And I'm kind of curious because Percy Jackson himself. Wait, did I say Percy Jackson? Sorry, Peter Jackson. Derp um, himself played uh, one of the pirates in about hmm, a three second clip in the movie. So this could be him. Could not be. I can't believe I said Percy Jackson. I'm stupid. Um, the Pirate King is pretty awesome. I'm just loving this guy, and um, those are minifigures. Now, Aragorn, he needs a new sword, so I picked him up a new one from, I don't even know, Minifig Cat, I believe, and it's much better. Peter Jackson. <laughs> sorry. For the Lord of the Rings fans, you guys are dying. I'm sorry, I've only seen all the movies twice, so, in the last week. And I only really got into Lord of the Rings recently. That's your mini catapult. You get three rocks with it. And if you guys don't know how it works, sorry for my bad camera stuff, you push on this and it shoots a rock. So let's get on to the set. We do get a brick separator. I need to make sure I'm saying that more often because I always forget. Or I have them sitting around from other reviews when I do. <laughs> reviews that don't have them. People are like, oh, that's it comes with a brick separator. And it doesn't. So I'm going to start at the front. I was going to start at the back, but then I didn't. That's the front. You get the cool thing at the bottom, the missile pieces. Um, these printed shields are awesome. You get a ton of them. Here's our little anchor thing. It's the same on both sides. And what happens is you... Um, and it drops more chains. So you can drop a bunch of chain, drop the anchors. You get one of these on each side. It's basically the same on each side. And they're just like a... I don't know, if they give it the ghost feeling or the pirate feeling. I don't know what kind of feeling they're going for. Um, these kind of cannon things, that's the one thing that they are missing on this boat is cannons. You got a weapons rack with a few weapons. There's a crossbow on the end if you can't see that. A key and two spears. There's <laughs> there's uh, one with kind of like a jungle print. I can't remember. There's just some gold pieces in there, which is kind of cool. They're one by one round, flat things with that are gold. Um, these are stickers, unfortunately. Those two extra rocket, flick fire missiles, rockets, or cannonballs in this case. We get two bottles. I love these bottles. Pieces. They're so cool. And we do get two map stickers, or two maps that are stickers. And um, I thought those pieces were incredibly cool. I just wish they weren't stickers. I wish they were printed. And I'm not gonna, really going to go that much into detail because my camera's going to die very soon. Um, we got those pieces, which is cool for detail, and remember, it's the same on both sides. We got chains going up. I just, they kind of give it a cool feeling with those chains, and just kind of random stuff that they add. It gives it that total pirate, um, of Umbar feeling, I guess. 
Go ahead. This, I kind of find it interesting that other pirate ships, they spend a lot of time. It's just getting right to that point, and then there's a big kind of back cabin area. This one, there's this big walkway that goes up, and then only the very back, there's room for like one minifigure to sit or stand at the back, and that's it. And there's four more shields on each side. There's also a key and two torches. And if we go inside of here, we can open that door. And sorry, I always have to take my hand out to do stuff. And out of the camera. I can't, I'm not even going to bother opening it. And we can actually take that off. Oh, I did not wreck it, I just took it off. And if we look inside, there's a mouse. And there's that bucket. And that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty sure that's for prisoners. Most of the time, that's the captain's cabin kind of thing going down, but in this set it's not, and it's a prison. So that's pretty cool. And just at the very back, you get this little, you get the rudder of the boat, and you can kind of control which way the boat goes. Now, um, one question that people like to have is, does this boat float? Ship does not float. I was going to say it doesn't float in water. But ship does not float. That's that's all they say. So it does not float, which kind of makes me sad. Well, actually, it doesn't make me sad. I don't even have care about that. Um, but some kids might be sad. And again, I guess they lock up the pirates. I don't see why Legolas would be seeing pirates that are coming to help. Um, Sorrow man. I just don't. I don't get that. But um, he has a breadstick and a chain. Very effective weapons of war. Well, the chain possibly. Breadstick. Yeah. Yeah, it's debatable. Anyways, so thanks for watching. And when I say rate, I mean thumbs up. And you guys can comment if you have anything to comment about. And subscribe if you feel like subscribing. Because I'm going to have a lot more reviews. And I'm kind of bad right now because I didn't buy any of the new Star Wars sets. I had all this money for it. And I decided to go off and blow it on Lord of the Rings and stuff for my mocks and stuff like that at the brick convention and I really did not I did not buy one of the new Star Wars sets to review so I'm sorry about that I will be getting those probably all on Black Friday <laughs> and um yeah because Black Friday is where it's at for me cuz I'll probably go to the states again and buy cuz I'm from Canada so thanks for watching and come subscribe see you guys later Sorry about not being able to really show the minifigures that well, but anyways, so comment, subscribe, thumbs up, bye.